Hello teacher, my name is William Mendoza. So the topic for today, I am going to talk about the grammatical function. First of all, I hope that you are very well. Okay, let's start. Oh, okay, let's start, let's start. Grammatical functions, let's start. Uh, grammatical functions. Uh, is the syntactic role played by a word or phrase in the context of a particular clause or sentences, sometimes called simply function? Another reason is that in English, the grammatical function is primarily determined by a word's position in a sentence, not by inflection or word ending. We have two, three objects. We have three direct objects, indirect objects, and object of preposition, also called oblique object. Okay? And the direct object, the thing being acted on by the bear. For example, you call a fish, where fish is the direct object. And the indirect object is the beneficiary of the action. Give her the fish, okay? Where her is the indirect object. And the object of a preposition, cook without salt. Object of a preposition is the noun or pronoun governed by a preposition, where the salt is an um, object. Let's continue. Uh, tips to teach direct object. Uh, first, uh, to determine the direct object, we'll need to find the subject and the action bear. For example, the mother feed her baby. Also, also, we don't forget the direct object that answers the question, what or who. For example, David repaired his car. And another tip is the direct object can be pronounced too. For example, don't eat me, I have a wife and kids. And another, on the other hand, the verb could be a phrase verb. For example, my cat is recovering from a massive stroke. Okay, tips to teach indirect object. Uh, an indirect object only appears with uh, the transitive verb. Like, for example, Stephanie bought a gift uh, certificate for mother. To, to, we have to know to identify the indirect object of the sentence. We have to ask ourselves to whom or for whom is the direct object. Um, for example, Julio gives Mary lessons. And to find the indirect object of a sentence, we must first find the direct object. For example, I send Mary some flowers and I send flowers to Mary, where Mary is the direct object, okay? And tips to teach oblique object or object of the preposition. Uh, it's naturally in behavior are most readily describable in semantic and syntactic. It's likely to be most constrained in the semantic roles it may individually express. Another tip is it's likely to be marked by an adposition at position or case affix. Another tip is the oblique object is, is not likely to be target of syntactic rules, such as agreement with a verb or strategies of rel relativation. Let's continue. And uh, here, here I have some examples, um, but before that, Engli in English prepositional phrase as clauses as constituents can be considered oblique object. Uh, for example, she was biting for a spider, okay? By a spider is the oblique. Oblique, another, another that oblique is the catch or level for all other positions that non praise can a copy in a sense. For example, Oscar bought a bicycle from that store on Luke Street. Another example is Norma left her business card on the table. And finally, an, the example is Masibo watched a documentary about antibiotics, okay? Uh, like the, and the first sample that saw on the log street, uh, the table and the antibiotics, okay, is the oblique. And that's all for today, teacher. Thank you so much. And that's all my presentation, okay? Thank you.